Kesorga jela kelarai ban pedang berailat yang kibriu bela palat yang kekerta tungkam, makin yuk yang kuni yang keiksam tungkam hapok ketengah tekstil. Kini kerai kalami nak kejengah langjung ke kenhun menteri kebelalong hakas ngi baar. Habaya keren berkilat patai kubor, um menteri rangba ola batai banadu usnem ajak khatsan, kam syumla dan syuk kejeng tungkam, ni kenungunu ke eksemen tungkam hapok ketengah tekstil. Ulo ang bahagia jeng shisha, kidon buon kibriu kibla day ban yuk kam hapok ketengah tekstil. Hadirin bagi lapan dep, ia kencing hikai pentebit berper-beper. Hendra ia kini kibriu lah syukur syah nak sorkar hak adu jangka stipen. U pentebit bagi dan haduk shispa kenai penduri ngut kinong tray gila tray nado usnem arja khatsan. Hendra haduk shispa khatsan ngut kim shim lala asu banyak kuni ke eksamen tungkam. Namar bagi kerta jangki kalau palat ia kerta tungkam. Ulo ang bakum kencing pentebit betang shisien. Kesorkar jela kalau rai ban pedang berailat ia kini kinong tray bagi banyak kuni ke eksam. As you are aware that since 2015 there has not been any uh, appointments or any kind of examination being held in the textile department uh, and there was uh, in fact uh, many people who were supported uh, in terms of a stipend by the government of Meghalaya uh, and after clearing those different uh, programs uh, those uh, um, uh, particular candidates who cleared those uh, particular courses um, their appointments uh, would you in the sense that uh, they were asking for direct appointments to be made uh, which again uh, uh, required uh, some uh, detailed uh, assessment to be made and uh, in the process from 2015 no none of the uh, individuals were appointed and no recruitment process also took place uh, because of uh, certain clarity that was required at that point in time and hence this issue has been pending for a very long time and because of that now we have finally come to a conclusion where we decided that we will be holding exams and in this examination uh, these different candidates can apply and uh, so therefore um, all the candidates who had gone to these institutes uh, can now appear for the examination and the and the selection process that will be conducted and based on the selection process appointments will be given but while we took that decision, there were a large number out of the 196, there were about 115 who uh, would not be able to appear for the exams because they would be over age. And hence, uh, as a one-time measure, I repeat, as a one-time measure, only for this specific case, because of the special circumstances that is there, that uh, the cabinet has decided and agreed to condone the age for the overage candidates uh, for the Department of Textile to appear for the exam. So there is no guarantee that they will get the job, but the selection process will happen and they will be allowed to appear. And uh, once that happens, then of course it will all base, will be based on merit.